Hey, this is Kevin with Let Me Tech You, and I'm back with another video on how to utilize ChatGPT AI to generate PowerShell scripts. Now, if you're someone who's a beginner with PowerShell or you've used PowerShell before, using AI can help guide you in the direction that you may not um, get from tools like Google or books or other sources a lot faster than what you need. So in a work environment, Sometimes you may be in a crunch or you might just need something quick to solve a solution to a problem that you don't really want to spend a lot of time on. So what I'm going to do here is show you this tool called ChatGPT, which is an AI tool that's just recently launched to allow you to kind of talk to an AI system and get answers back for the questions that you have. So what I'm going to do here, if you haven't, go to chat.openai.com and you're going to sign up. And I'm essentially going to walk you through how easy it is to uh, create a script. And we're going to create a script that creates Active Directory users. So down here at the bottom, once you sign up, this is free for research preview. So you don't get charged for any of the queries that you uh, put into here. But it is also recommended that if you're using any of the uh, syntax or anything from here, that you um, kind of go over it to make sure that... Um, it is what you're um, needing and it's uh, free of any errors. So it's really simple down here. You just want to put something like um, what we're going to do. Let's say create me an active directory user using PowerShell. And the great thing about this is it doesn't just give you the answer. It gives you a great informational output of what's going on, what's needed. Um, and then, you know, so that way you're not just getting an answer to a problem that you have, you're learning about the problem and how to fix it, um, what the solution that they're providing. So as you can see here, it's telling you that you're going to create a new active, active directory user using PowerShell. You use the new AD user commandlet, and this is a part of the Active Directory module, which is uninstalled by default on Windows. So you will have to do an install, which is install module name Active Directory. And we can actually Google that and see where this takes us. So looks like looks like this can be installed, get Windows feature R set A D. So using our set, um, I want to see install, let's see, Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. And so import module Active Directory. Uh, let's see if there's an install. Let's look here. Install dash module. Let's see, I'm trying to see where we can find that command at. Basically, we want to make sure that the module that it's actually pulling from is correct. And it looks like a lot of these are actually installing from the Windows feature, the RSET AD PowerShell module. And that's probably more common See, how do I import the actor? Use the import module command with the name actor directory parameter. So, okay. So, we're basically doing that in the install module name here. So, then what we're going to do, it's going to say once the module is installed, we're going to create a new actor directory user. And here's an example of how to create one with a username, John Doe. So, new AD user name, John Doe, display name. John Doe, Sam account name. So you can see this is going to create one user. But let's say you have uh, multiple users that you need to create this for. We want to say import this, um, a list of users from a CSV file. So I'm going to go down here and say, how can I create a list of active directory users from a CSV file? So we're going to use the import CSV 
uh, commandlet also combined with the new ad user command and then it's going to say now you're going to make sure that you have the active directory module installed which you can do by saying hey get module if you already ran and you're going to be looking for active directory and if the module is not installed you want to go ahead and install it then you're going to drop in and make sure you want to put the users into a variable so you're going to do import csv path and then the path to your csv file so your CSV is going to also need, um, you know, make sure it has information in the header, such as the username, um, the user's name, their username and password. And then from there, you're going to use a loop to loop through. So for each user and users, we're going to do new AD user name, user dot name, user dot display name. Where'd we go here? and looks like we got an air and body stream so sometimes uh i notice with this tool this happens and it happens when you have a long running um uh answer that gets outputted so you can see that was running for a while so let's try to shorten it so let's say create a so use the above script to put the users in uh, or to import the users into a variable. So too many requests, please slow down. So it might be, um, so this is new, so we, we could be hitting some type of roadblock where it needs to catch up or um, I'm putting too many queries in and it's recognizing that. So it's, it, it's trying to, uh, they had some stability issues. So to minimize people taking advantage of the system, they probably have some roadblocks in there. So let's let's try that again here. Too many requests. Let's uh, let's let's refresh. So we got a new thread. So let's say create a Active Directory user from a list of users imported in from a CSV. So we got the new thread going. It's uh, going to go ahead and start outputting our code with the import and the variable um, already placed inside of it. So now you got your users uh, variable, and then we got our for each. And then you got to make sure also inside of your CSV, you have your um, headers. So first name, last name, display name, email address. Um, all that stuff that's going to need to be in the CSV file for it to create that. So once that gets done, we can say, let's um, place this in a specific OU. So using, so it already knows what we're, what we're doing. So based on the fact that we're still within this um, thread, it knows we're trying to create Active Directory users. And then we, so we can essentially just say place the users in the OU called, um, let's say users. Let's just keep it simple. So let's see if it actually takes what we currently have and outputs it. So it looks like it's gonna go through our for each again, it takes everything we currently have here, and then it adds the path. And we got our password. So then now that we have the, um, so if you're not sure of the organizational path, so this is basically saying, if your organizational path isn't this, you wanna go ahead and get that um, wherever you're at, the um, OU is, you can typically sometimes do a right click and go to 
um, the properties and look at the object or attribute editor and grab it from out of there. So now we can continue to keep going if we want. Um, we can do some additional stuff like, let's say, what else could we do? Um, and then let's say disable, um, let's say force all the users to change password on next logon. So let's see if we run into another error here with uh, us putting too many requests in or if we can actually figure out how to do this with our existing code. So we should have our for each loop. It should keep the path as well. So it knows that we still want the path, which is there. And then the password, change password next login. So as you can see here, it's, it's essentially building out our script as we're talking to it in, um, you know, plain text. And the great thing about this is you're going to get a lot of people who aren't familiar technically with the, uh, what to search for or look at in certain, um, let's, how can I say aspects of certain forums, because some people might just post uh, the answer. So say you go to stack overflow and someone gave you this exact answer here. I could take this here and let's actually copy this. And I'm going to say, oop, now I think I, so I'm gonna say, what is this loop doing? I'm just gonna put a colon there because sometimes I like to uh, separate my question from my text. And I'm going to paste that in there. So what is this loop doing? So for someone who might be looking for an answer to something and they come across something, you basically can have an assistant tool like this to say, hey, is this code, is this block of text doing anything um, that I need? What answers uh, is it giving me? So now it's basically saying, hey, this is a commandlet from Active Directory to create a new user. It is looping over each user in the users array and creating a new user in the Active Directory domain for each user. It's the user's name, username, first name, last name, the password is specified as arguments. The user account is also set to expire its password at the next logon and to be enabled. So not only is this like a tool that you can use to uh, help solve problems, but it's a tool you can use to help learn a lot faster because sometimes you may not get the answer to questions um, specifically from forums and other people that you asked a question to about, hey, how do I do this? Um, how is this achieved? How did you write this script? Or let's say, for example, you come across a piece of code that a previous developer left um, and you don't know what this script is doing. You could come in here and say, hey, what is this script doing? Um, I don't know why it's breaking. Tell me what's going on. It's a whole you know, new gambit of um, tooling that you can now use to help not only better yourself, but the business that you work for and the people around you. So again, if you have any questions, you know that's just a simple little way to kind of learn PowerShell and also um, get some easy PowerShell scripts going for various tasks that uh, you may not want to spend a lot of time on trying to figure out because you might have bigger fish to fry in the grand scheme of things. So drop me a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, like I said, again, this is free at over at chat.openai.com. I love to answer any questions, collaborate on, the, um, on any ideas you would want to kind of go over. Again, uh, like and subscribe my video. I'll be doing more videos on other ways to utilize chat um, GPT for various uh, um, tech um, initiatives. So again, thanks for tuning in, like and subscribe, and hope to see you next time.